is. All my half of the stuff is packed. We are getting ready to roll out to the Cornhusker State. We're headed to Nebraska. I'm waiting on Jordan to get here right now. We're gonna get the rest of his stuff loaded up in the truck and then we're gonna roll. So we got a little while to go. It's like a 20-ish hour drive from here in southeastern Ohio. So I guess the next stop is gonna be a gas station, hopefully somewhere over in Indiana if we can make it that far on a tank of gas. So we're gonna get rolling. Well, I am the river that flows through my veins I am the black crow, I'm wings of change well, I am the rock that the rain couldn't conquer I'm above, I'm below, I am hell and high water Carried in on the breeze I've wept with willows And I've fell with leaves I am the badlands And the silence it holds A warrior who walks But is never I think we finally got camp set up for the night. Jordan's in the tent. Camera, his bow, gun, my gun, two vests, camera gear, everything else. So, this is home for the next couple days. Ain't that right, Gingy? Oh, yeah. <laughs> there it is. How cold is it today? Like 37? Something like that. With or without the wind chill, something like that. So, it's chilly, but we're gonna go out and, I don't know, try and find some better spots to uh, see if we can kill some birds. All right. So you got the property line. I don't think there's a distinct line, but I think it runs somewhere right down this holler. Right on the edge of it. it runs down through there no that's that's public everything from right here over is private so we'll have to be over on this side
just tell us what we got going on. We're walking. We're walking. So we're walking in here. 200 yards from the truck, and we just saw a bird up at the top of this hill. Couldn't tell what it was, so we're gonna try and swing around and get a better look at it. It's seen us coming, so it turned and took off back, but it didn't run like it was spooked. So we're gonna try and loop up and around it, see if we can't get eyes on it. Yeah, keep an eye down here to the right, though. If there was that one, there might be more of them. If there's any we can get in from this side, I'd almost do that. Yeah, I'm trying to see if that side because everybody in the brothers are going to come from this side. Yeah, but this is the easiest access over here. It's so, like a long walk. Yeah, it's a long walk from the other side. Uh, just keep that gun ready just in case we walk up on one. We're trying to figure out what we're going to do here. from this morning. I heard a few birds, but there's a lot more pressure over there. So uh, we come out here, it's a little bit farther from camp. We're gonna try and get down across this big draw. Looking at Onyx, it looks like there's a field just around the base of this hill over here that's on public. We're gonna stop out and check it. We've seen a few birds from the road. 
way back on the main road but near WMA so we're gonna kind of check this area out and see what, what we got to work with it looks a little bit better out here back up this big draw. We got quite a walk ahead of us. We've seen some birds from the road a couple hours ago. I'm not sure what they were, so they were walking back into the back side of this this uh, WMA. So we're gonna go back there and see if they're hanging out back there and probably sit till late evening and see if we can roost a bird back here. If not we may just uh, go back to where we were this morning and see if we can't kill a bird there in the morning.
I bet when we went come, I bet when we come down off of that hill and around, I bet he went up that draw. Across this draw and up that direction. Yeah, we got quite a bit of time. We can try and get across there and see if he's up there. Well, that didn't work out quite the way we planned. I think he had a skyline as soon as we come up over the, the hill over here in this field. We tried to drop back down and around him, and call him down that draw. He'd come up over the other draw headed away from us. I tried to sneak up to the crest of that draw and there's a roosted hen where he was, but he was nowhere to be found. So we're gonna keep after him. We're gonna on up here to where we wanted to be anyway and hopefully we'll find another one here soon. All right, so we come up this hill after we left that bird and that hen down there that we set up on. Walk down to the other edge of the uh, public down there where it corners up with private. Didn't see anything we liked. Come back across the top edge of this ridge, fall on the fence, back down into this ravine, and come through this gap right here. Walked over here. Looked down on this bank, and there's a, a tom laying on the ground taking a nap and in disbelief we stood there and looked at him until he woke up took off running and flew away we just can't catch a break out here like the true blue country turkey hunters we are <laughs> can't catch a break out here all right we're walking back down this road through this field wrapping it up for the day. We bumped a couple birds way back at the end of this field. We just heard a bird gobble down over this hill in this big valley where we came up earlier. So we're gonna try and slip through the edge of these woods and creep down over this hill and see if we can't get him killed. He's right down here, yeah. Creep up to that burnt log. Started to make a move on that bird. Then we heard two gunshots. So now we continue our walk back to the truck. Alright, it's our second morning here in Nebraska. It's a little after five o'clock right now. We got up into this spot early this morning. More or less trying to beat the rush of other people that we expected to come up in here. We're back up in here in the same area where we had the two encounters with that Tom yesterday. Saw quite a few hens up in here, but right now we're sitting here hoping the sun's gonna rise because it's cold. The wind's blowing across this bluff really hard. We're on a little ridge that runs back down into this canyon here. It's got pines on both sides and sprinkled pines right up out into the field behind me here. So we're gonna sit here and listen for a little while and hope this bird starts to gobbling here. Um, probably within the next half hour or so.
try that. right down this ditch. Yeah, they're right up there in that field somewhere.
this edge of private. I'm trying to draw this bird back across the top of this hill. All right, we're back at camp. We've been back for, I don't know, about an hour or so. Jordan got him a little nap in, rested our feet a little while, our boots are killing us. So. But there's no sense in sitting at camp when the birds are out there roaming around, so we're gonna go out and poke around a different WMA for a little while, and then maybe we'll go dig in a little deeper to a chunk of National Forest that we had initially started in before we started bouncing around all these other spots and uh, see if we can't uh, find a bird between one of those two spots. So we're going to give it a swing and see if we can uh, hit a home run with it. Tuesday morning from Nebraska. I don't know what's so good about it. Between the birds and the weather, it's been beating us down pretty hard. But we're gonna try and slide back up into this spot that we hunted the first morning. We heard a couple birds and uh, see if we can't find one of them. But this is looking like about our last decent day to hunt out here before the weather starts turning cold again. So this is probably gonna be the last hurrah morning hunt for the trip. So here we go. Hill. I shed a couple layers because I'm still layered up in my warm clothes. He walks down the ridge farther 
and glasses. Well, I think he said five birds. So we're gonna slip back down this field here. See if we can't cut them off. Oh my gosh, he was right up here. Oh my goodness, I wasn't even ready for that. I just killed my first Miriam, and he's a long beard. Oh my goodness, he's laying over there flopping. I'm gonna go get him. Oh yeah, baby, yes! Nebraska, Miriam. Oh my gosh, I wasn't even ready for that. Oh yeah, he was gobbling on the roost. He had a bunch of hens with him. I tried to cut around him. I followed him for a little while. Run into a coyote, and coyote was trailing him. Yeah, he was way up in here, right up in here behind this private house. Holy crap, I walked up on a little strut zone, a little open ridge. I seen, I seen little hens running by, and then all of a sudden I seen a redhead with a long beard, and I'm like, oh crap. I yelped at him, flipped safety off, and found him about 40 yards away and doused him. Oh my God, man. I couldn't have killed him in a prettier spot, man. <sighs> Sun's just starting to come over the hill. Big old Miriam.
Yeah, you remember where that house was? I'm, I'm just on the other side of that house. Big Ridge, just on the other side of the house. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and take everything in here for a minute. I'm out of breath. I'm gonna go, go get him before he tears up his fan. I appreciate it, boss. All right, see ya. Oh my goodness, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All right, let's go get him. Go back and get my gun. Stop flopping, big boy, stop flopping. Stop flopping. Get over that head. Look at that guy. All right, guys, we finally struck victory in Nebraska. Excuse my voice, the last couple days have been pretty brutal, breathing in all this cold, dry air, but uh, finally got her done this morning. Uh, kind of sucks, Jordan and I decided to split up this morning, and it was the first morning uh, we were able to close the deal on a bird. We split up way down over this canyon at the truck, and I come up the right side, uh, same area where we were at yesterday. Uh, we bumped a couple hens off the roost started way down at the bottom of the canyon and I heard this bird gobble once way up on the other side of this rock face that we're sitting in front of and uh, swung around way around to the right side of him here and uh, listened to him gobble a couple more times made a couple different sets to try and get him killed he was still gobbling on the limb knew he wasn't gonna come to me I could hear his hands uh, come up this spine right here on around the side of this rock face ended up running into a coyote and almost shot the coyote uh, bumped the coyote started down the next ridge where the coyote had come from and come up onto a little strut zone and bumped some hens and this guy must have been standing right there with him strutting he took off i yelped at him a couple times i didn't even have time to turn the camera on i just shot him and that was the end of that but either way we got a big bird down here in nebraska now it's jordan's turn I think that wraps up our Nebraska trip. Unless something changes between here and the Nebraska line. Uh, watch that big strutter down on public, or yeah, public, private. For how long we sit there? 10 minutes? 10, 15 minutes, yeah. Sit there and watch him strut. He's got a couple hens down there in that holler, so. 
It's a good run. It was a humbling experience. So until next time, if there is a next time, because these hills are kicking my butt. So that'll do her. Lying the river flows through my veins. I am the black crow. I'm wings of change.